What's up everybody? Welcome back to QC Comics with of course another action figure unboxing video and today I have the ultimate ghost face figure from NECA and uh this is one that I've wanted ever since I got the cloth ghost face figure. I did initially pass because I was like, yeah, do I need two ghost face NECA figures? However, I just saw the trailer for, for uh, Scream 5, and I saw this on the shelf later in the day, and, and I thought, I even passed on the new uh, The Thing figure, uh, the Walmart exclusive with the flamethrower. I'm just not a huge The Thing fan, no shade towards John Carpenter and his films, because I love They Live, I love Halloween. Just, you know, the thing was never really my jam, so Scream was, so I will go for Ghostface, even though this is not Scream, it's Ghostface. Do you like scary movies? I do. And I like Scream, or, in this case, generic Ghostface name, but, you know, licensing, rights, all that stuff, I imagine. They had a time, a trouble with it, or something, but uh, on the box here, you've got a little display of all the masks, just a brief the icon of Halloween returns so obviously they couldn't get the rights to the movie so because it's just a generic costume that was out before the movie they're like oh well you know we can just make it a costume and uh wink wink the fans will know what it is so anyway you've got a nice little as always with NECA on the inside here you got a nice little open uh, flap with some artwork or figures posed I imagine it is so that's always good, especially if you're inbox collectors. NECA does a great job with their boxes. And then, of course, all of the accessories, masks, and everything inside the package. So because NECA is, uh, it takes a little while to unpack, I'm going to jump cut this to having it open, and we'll take a look at everything. All right, well, first up here, <laughs> just, <laughs> man, this is just my luck lately. Um... We've got one alternate hand here. Oh, yay, good. Good, a little stabby, stabby action. Then we get another alternate. Well, I don't want to say this is not the alternate hand. This is the alternate hand because when I took, I hadn't even taken the ghost face out of the box yet, and I'm looking through the accessories, and I'm like, why do I have three hands? I could have sworn I only had two extra hands in the box. That's because his other hand just fell right off, as do these. So might have to return this cool so <laughs> uh we've got two alternate hands and that's okay uh so anyway we've got this cool scythe so i do dig this it looks really good on the blade it looks dirty kind of rusty the wood looks really good as far as the sculpt uh, the sculpt in general and the uh, the paint applications are all really good it's detailed so this is cool. Yeah, it's obviously not anything that's appeared in the movies, but it's a cool accessory to fill out a ultimate figure of a character that, you know, you're kind of trying to skirt around the fact that it's not actually from Scream. This is, well, there's a couple knives that come with this. There's kind of a longer one here. You get some blood on there. And then you've got the shorter knife here with some blood. This is more the style of knife that he, he or she would use in the film. And then you have a kind of traditional butcher knife here with some blood on it. All of which, the, the blood looks really good. It, it's kind of layered, so it looks thick and smeared. and So that's really good. And I might actually put this with my... I don't think I have a Michael Myers figure that has blood on the knife. Maybe I do, but if I don't, that'll be a nice addition. And then it does come with a voice changer, which came with every ghost face Halloween costume, right? I mean, that wasn't the movie that made this popular. It was definitely a thing that came with the costume. No, nah, obviously it wasn't. But, you know, again, they got to fill it out. And it's a nice bit to make it a little more like the movie. Then you've got some alternate heads. You have this one here, which is a glow-in-the-dark. Which I know when I had the ghost face costume as a kid, and I, it was before Scream came out, uh, mine was a glow-in-the-dark. So I put mine, I remember putting it out in front of a window so it kind of charged up the glow. So at night, it would light up. So that was pretty cool. I like that addition. You, of course, have the bloodied head. So if you're doing uh, you know, any kind of photography or anything like that, if he's got the bloody knife, maybe he's got a little splatter on his face mask. So that's a cool addition. I like that a lot. And then you have this kind of worn, cracked, almost like the new... Um, the new Michael Myers from the 2018 Halloween or Halloween Kills. 
kind of got that vibe to it, just old and worn and deteriorating. So that's cool. I don't think I'll ever use this one, but it is a nice addition for anybody that, you know, actually, you know, I don't know if I wind up doing photography with the uh, 2018 Halloween figure, maybe that might pair with it. So that's a, that's a good extra to have. And then the figure itself, minus a hand, and I don't know if you can see, but there's so much cloth and material here, I can't pull it up to see what's wrong with the joint. So this is after review, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to tinker. And of course, I've not given this a warm water bath and it is NECA, so I don't wanna move it around too much. However, the legs move pretty freely on their own and you get quite a bit of split action there. So that's really good. The, the movement on this feels really good right out of the box. Everything, you know, the arms go up. This, the right arm here is a little more stiff, but I won't force it. But yeah, it does move pretty good. And because this is all cloth material, I really don't want to warm water bath this thing. So it's really nice that it moves freely in and out of the box, or now that it's out of the box, I should say, without having to do too much extra work. And I did see when this figure first came out, some people were kind of complaining about how short the actual costume was, that it didn't go down far enough. I don't know. I think it's got a pretty good range or length to it. Certainly not anything that, you know, I'm going to like really have a gripe with. I like the, the tatters that come down when you T-pose them out too. Yeah, no, it's good. And then underneath, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just... Although I don't want to say standard because there is some pretty good detail in these. Kind of looks like black jeans and the boots look really nice too. A lot of really nice detail in there. So yeah, overall, not a ton that I can ramble on about because it's it's a pretty straightforward figure. But you do have a lot of really nice options with this one. And being obviously the ultimate, you would expect it. But I do like this probably more than the cloth figure. But I think... I think you can do with one or the other. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think that, you know, you, you really need one. Unless you're wanting to do photography or anything else, or you just like to swap out display, you know, accessories for your display and things like that. But yeah, overall, it's, uh, it's a pretty solid figure. I'm definitely happy with it. So let me get a hand back on this thing and I'll wrap up this review. All right, and to wrap up this review and unbox, I figured I would do a little size and compare contrast to the eight inch cloth ghost face. Uh, this one, obviously just a little bit taller than uh, the Ultimates are all usually seven inch. As far as the length goes to the, uh, the costume down to the boot, they're pretty similar. This is just a tad shorter, but not a real, you know, it's not really anything that's really worth griping about too much. This is a little bit more of a reflective material than this, which is kind of a straight black, which I actually kind of like the black better. I do also like this face looks a little more narrow. I think it just looks a little bit scarier than this is just a little bit wider. So it is what it is. They're both pretty good though. This is a knife that does not have blood on it. Of course the ultimate does. And overall you just get things like, you know, cause it's a little bit of a smaller figure, but the boots are a little more compact, a little more narrow. And they're pretty, like I said, you could go one way or the other if you really want a ghost face figure on your shelf. I think either one of these you'd be happy with. Even if you don't necessarily like the cloth figures, they both are more or less pretty much covered in cloth. So, you know, maybe if you see this one and you can't find the ultimate or you just don't care about the accessories, you just want a ghost face on the shelf, go for the cloth. Uh, it's probably a little bit cheaper. And I know I saw it long before I saw the ultimate ghost face. And I will say this though, it's funny, I did manage to get this hand back in, but it does pull out fairly easily still. And then I actually don't have the extra hand for this ghost face, because he only came with one extra hand. And when I went to pull it out, the 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 hinge, not the actual not the actual um, you know joint that goes into the socket, but the hinge that hooked to the hand from the joint snapped. So on this one, I've got a hand that's fallen out. And then on this one, I even warmed it up in water. I was easing it out, felt like it wasn't going to be an issue, and it snapped. So I've had hand issues with both of these Ghostface figures. But, I mean, it's just minor stuff. Like I said, the hand did go back in. This one was just the extra hand. And to be honest, I'm pretty sure this one will still hold anything I want it to anyway. It'll still hold his... Uh, 
voice changer and it's still it's a good hand for grabbing or you know if i'm doing photography and i want him to be grabbing or you know whatever you know what I, how many times can i say that word but you know what i mean so it, it's definitely the hand that i would prefer not to break so <sighs> i don't know whatever anyway we'll get him out of here this ghost face solid figure it's an eight out of ten uh, definitely happy with it. Happy with the accessories. I don't know what else they could have done. I just think there's not enough detail for it to really stand out in my eyes. And the, the hand issue is a bit of a bummer. But, you know, 8 out of 10. Solid figure. Pick it up if you see it. Definitely recommend it. And if you like the video, why don't you give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Let me know if you've had any necker problems with your figures. Any hands falling out, out when, the, uh, when you're taking the figure out of the box. Any accessories broken, missing, whatever. I've actually had very few issues with NECA. I know sometimes people like to rag on them a bit, but I've had very few issues with them. So just a minor inconvenience. I'm not going to bother returning it. I did get the hand in. It's all good. So we'll see you with the next unboxing. Take care, everyone.